In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can create a custom password recovery form for our WordPress website. So we will be taking this simple default WordPress password recovery form and then we will make a custom form which will look something like this. Here we have an option to enter username and email and once the user enter the details, they can click on email reset link and this will send an email where we will have a link which the user can use to reset their account password on this WordPress website. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. And this is the third video in our video series of custom WordPress forms. In the past two videos in our playlist, we have already covered how you can create a custom sign-in as well as a custom user registration form. I would highly recommend that you go ahead and watch the playlist from the beginning in order to get the complete understanding of these custom forms. We will add the link for the playlist in the i button above and in the video description below. But right now, let's get back to our WordPress backend and start building our custom password reset form. In the plugin section, we need to make sure that we have the plus add-ons for blog editor free as well as the pro version and make sure you have updated them to the latest version. And once that is done, we can go to plus settings and then click on plus blocks. And here we will search for login. And this is the login registration block that we are going to use. And as you can see, it's part of the pro plan. So make sure you have the pro version of this plugin installed and updated to the latest version. And after that, we just need to turn this block on and then click on save. Once that is done, we can now go to pages and start building our custom password recovery form. So here we go on pages and then click on all pages. And we already have our page created. So let's go ahead and click on edit. And here you can see our custom form for the password recovery. So let me just go ahead and clear everything here so that I can show you everything from the beginning. So let me just remove this. All right, so let's start by adding our container block first. And we will choose this layout. And for the height, let's select fit to screen. And in the style, let's go ahead and add some background gradient, something like this. Now in the flex property, we will align everything in the center. And now let's click on add block and we will search for login and sign up block. So here it is. Let's click on this. And this is the default look of our sign in form. But right now we need to create a password recovery form. So for that here in the layout section under forms, we have different types of forms like login, register, login, register in multiple tab. And after that we have forward password. Now we have already covered about login and registration form in our playlist. So in order to learn everything from the beginning, I would highly recommend that you watch our first two videos in our playlist. But right now let's select forgot password form from here. And in order to style this form, let's go to style tab. And here you will find all the options that is required to customize every element of this form, just like any other blog in the plus library. So let's start with the box content option. And here, let's give it a background color. And then maybe we can add some padding as well. Let's add a border radius. And now for the form label, let's go ahead and change the color from here. Maybe we can choose light gray. And for the form input field, again, we can play around with the typography. So maybe we can add some italic format and for the placeholder color, we can change this to gray or maybe a light version of this gray. And we can align the text in the center or in the corner. And once again, we can add some border radius here as well. And we can add some margins. Maybe we can add 10 pixel from the top and 10 from the bottom to give it a gap. And then we have form button. So here we can first set the width to 100%. 
and for the background color we can choose anything from our global color palette if we come back here in our main container instead of box we can choose full layout and if we go in advance here we can select percentage and for the padding let's add 35 percent from the left and 35 from the right let's update this and if you open the page again in a private window this is how our form looks and this one looks way better than our default wordpress password reset form now once the styling is done let's get back in our wordpress backend and see what options are available with this form so here in this form we have lost password option and the first is password reset page right now it is set on default but we can select custom and here we can choose any page from our website where we want to redirect our visitor once they request an email for the password recovery so right now for this example we have selected services page and after this we have label and placeholder so right now the label that is here username and email and for the placeholder we can edit that from here and we have the button text which is showing right here and we can add an icon here something like this one and here we have the heading that is lost your password which is showing here so we can edit that from here itself after this we have the width option to change the width of this form and below that we have recapture so in order to make this form a bit secure we can turn on this recapture option so that we can avoid spam and fake requests and how we will add this recapture we are going to cover that in a separate video so make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever that video is live below this we have custom email so if we turn this on here we have an option to enter the email subject as well as the email body so here we can customize the email for our password recovery and we can use the various fields like mentioned here to create our own version of the email now in order to make sure that our emails always land in the inbox of our user it's highly recommended that we use an smtp server and how we can configure that with these forms we are going to create a separate video for that so make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you get notified once that video goes live after this we have the strong password required so if we turn this on once the user click on the link that they get in the email to reset the password so with this option they will be forced to create a strong password this time after that we have login registration form override so if in case you are using a registration form like this one where we have sign in and registration on one page itself so it's good to override the login registration form so that we don't have both of these forms in one place below this we have messages for loading text success and error and we can customize all these messages from here and once again in order to add styling to all these fields and options we can always use the style tab once all of this is done let's go ahead and click on update and let's refresh our front end and now once we enter our username and email id here we will receive an email to reset our login password so here goes the email id let's click on email recent link all right it says mail sent so now we just need to use the link in the email and we will be able to reset our login password so this is how easy it is to create a custom password recovery form using the plus add-ons for gutenberg and if you want to learn how you can create custom sign-in registration and more advanced forms then make sure you watch our complete playlist we will link that in the i button above and in the video description below so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next video of this playlist where we talk about the advanced features of this blog so i'll see you in the next one